Something is amiss, and we shall get to the bottom of it together. From Naughty Dog and Aloy Loy, let's get it on. So V from Romanian TV, whose uh, video I shall link right here, I believe, had a really good point today. And uh, show I, I'm not a Twitter person, so I don't really check Twitter. But I did want to... Uh, I, I saw something that made me kind of interested. And um, as someone who has played both of these games, well, at least parts of them, I played Last of Us 2. I played Last of Us completely. And... I also played, um, which I didn't do a review for, but I did do, uh, what is it, Zero Horizon Dawn? Horizon Zero Dawn. Zero Dawn's Horizon Forevers. I haven't played for Forbidden West yet, but if you take a close look at this picture, we seem to be missing something. And I always like to say, just like Mr. Jack Reacher, the details matter, my friends, the details matter. You probably can't use a bow if you don't have the complete, ar like if you don't have the string, you can't you can't pull a bow back. I don't know who you commissioned. I I'm sure it's a very nice artist, but I'm a little confusion as to how that works when your bow only has half a string on it. Pretty sure it's not going to shoot anybody. And uh, Aloy only has one arm. Maybe this was mocked up quickly, but this is from the Twitter account of Naughty Dog, and here they are thanking um, or congratulating our wonderful friends at Gorilla for the release of Horizon Forbidden West. We can't join Aloy in uncovering the muse mysteries of the beautiful world you've created. Illustration by Irvin Paints. And I'm not throwing Irvin Paints under the ground, but if you're a major like uh, company that makes billion-dollar games, right? I'm pretty sure that you would want people to get the details right. Seems like it makes sense to me. And if I saw this picture, I would immediately say to them, what are you doing? This bow does not look right. And then on top of that, I think there's a deeper issue here. And that might be this. And I don't know if this is real, but this is Reddit, but I think it's funny. So, <laughs> Aloy is looking a little different these days. They have, they have her in 2017, which is the game that I played. Uh, and then they have her in the 2021 version, where she's got this weird, like, ballooned-out face, and I don't really understand. I'm fairly sure I've heard people complaining that she has peach fuzz on her face. I mean, don't get me wrong. She could be a bearded lady for all I care. And maybe it explains why she can do the things she can do. Don't know. But I do think that it's kind of funny that this thread has been locked, that you cannot do anything with this. So they're saying, like one of the top comments here, I knew she looked a little wired in the face. I don't understand what they were going for with that. Aloy is going to be fit as hell with all her running and fighting. There is zero, <laughs> zero chance that her face would get chubby. I tend to agree. Now, I don't know that that's the truth. And I've really, first of all, it's a comment, it's, it's a video game character. So I can bag on the looks of a video game character. I don't think it's unfair. But what I want to do is show you a couple other images. So let's go back to Naughty Dog here. This is the actress who plays Abby. Notice Abby, not the same person. <laughs> this is a very pretty lady, Laura Bailey. This is Abby. I don't know. This is a little sus. Let's keep going. We, we we saw, we see here, right? This is Ellie, right? Okay. Let's see here. Oh, here's here's the actress who plays Ellie. Hmm. Ashley Johnson. Seems like a pretty lady. Very ladylike. Let's do one more, just for just for fun. Oh look, it's Aloy and Ashley Birch. She's, she does Mortal Kombat, Fallout 4. She's a little more progressive. Maybe she's got that progressive haircut. Still a very pretty lady. Little confusion here. What are we doing? Why is this a theme in these video games? I don't know. 
Perhaps someone in the comments can tell me what's going on here. Perhaps it's a conspiracy. I am confused as to why this is happening. So when I saw this, and I know that they're super excited about their message that they're delivering, like these two wonderful ladies, you know, in their perspective uh, worlds. And then I can see like there's a giraffe in the background and then there's one of those big flat-headed walkie things. I forget what they're called. It's been a little while. And I just get confused where they're going with this. Why is this, is this like some sort of um, message they're trying to send us? Is there perhaps an agenda here? I'm confused. I need a little more information because don't know what it is. It's a little sus. So maybe you can explain in the comments down below. Thought I would show this to you because it's a little fun. And uh, I'm the man you know with Z, where our reviews will kill you. Like and subscribe if you like what we do here. I thought this would be fun to talk about. And I also think you could check out our full-length audio podcast that we do on Friday nights, live stream, 7.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. You can get it for free. Stitcher, Spotify, all those awesome places because we're totally awesome and you're awesome too because you want to come party with us. So that's all I have for today, but I'm on to the next one. And maybe I'll see you there.